Hello, my name is Kathy Carr, and today I'll be talking about the Chinese computer scientist Xia Pisu. Known as the mother of computer science in China, Xia Pisu was an incredibly significant figure in the history of technology and its advancements. Xia was born in 1923 on July 28th and died in 2014 on August 27th. In her life, she married Yang Liming, who was a scholar interested in computer science as well. They had two sons, one named Yang Yuanian and the other Yang Yuemin. Both children followed in their parents' footsteps in science, as Yang Yuanian became a computer scientist while Yang Yuemin became a physicist. Xia immediately found herself loving education, having started her schooling at the age of four. She came from an educated family who had the wealth required to hire a private tutor. She was able to have her first private tutor at the age of eight, furthering her knowledge. She continued through her education and graduated at the top of her high school class in 1940. She proceeded in her education at the National Central University. She joined in 1941 and studied electrical engineering. After she graduated college, she met Yang Liming and started a relationship with him. Having earned her degree, she started studying under Max Born for her doctorate's degree in electrical engineering at the University of Edinburgh. During her studies, she developed methodologies that more accurately measured frequency and amplitude in electrical systems. This was the basis of long-range communicators and technology, and the reason why we have things such as radios, television, and most importantly, computers. She married Yang in 1950, which was the same year she earned her doctorate. Yang was an academic, much the same as Xia, and was interested in scientific ideologies as well. The two of them moved to Beijing, where they both became professors at Tsinghua Universities. Xia became involved with working on telecommunications research during her time as a professor. Xia became one of three founding members of China's first researching group for computers, the Chinese Academy of Scientists. She was then selected as the best candidate to learn and teach the best way to make a computer from the combined fields of mathematics, engineering, and physics. This was due to her already having experience in both mathematics and engineering. She began studying Soviet research in the realm of computers as she joined a Moscow research team. She even took a book that had over 1,000 words and translated it to Chinese in order to teach her students the ways of Soviet computing. She became a developer and lecturer to not only the Chinese Academy of Scientists, but also to the University of Science and Technologies. In 1960, the Soviet Union withdrew support from China due to political reasons, but when the world thought it would be the end of Chinese technology, Xia and her organization strived to prove the world wrong. Xia created a computer known as Model 107, which was all structured without basing it around the Soviet models they were originally designed from. Xia began teaching others the basis behind computers while simultaneously developed and researched ways to make the computers even faster and more efficient. She founded the Chinese Journal of Computers as well as the Journal for Computer Science and Technology. In 1981, she created a processor 2,000 times faster than the previously used model based on Soviet designs. Both her own designs and the institution <coughs> she founded, which created more computer scientists, led to her being crowned the mother of Chinese computing. She paved the way for many to expand on her research and laid the groundwork for even bigger and better things to come for technology. She was honored with a reward in her name handed out by the China Computer Federation, which awards the Xia Peisu Award to women who have made outstanding contributions to the advancements of computers. Not only that, but Xia and Yang were both elected to be academicians of Ch the Chinese Academy of Sciences, as the two of them made incredible contributions as professors and researchers. Today, China is one of the world's biggest leaders in computer productions. China even surpassed the United States and became the leading market for PCs around the world. Xia Su was one of the leading factors which allowed for this to happen. She and her husband taught many students who continued to teach and develop computers. Through her life, she was one of the first to teach classes on computer theory, as well as developed many courses to contribute to the field of computer science. 
All of this can secure her spot in history as one of the world's most important and influential computer scientists.